This video provides termination instructions for AFL FuseConnect MPO connectors on 2mm and 3mm cordage. These step-by-step -step instructions demonstrate the termination of a FuseConnect MPO connector on 3mm cordage using a Fujikora 70R Fusion Splicer. The MPO connector kit contains the following items, a 3mm cordage tube and boot, a ribbon boot, a spring unit, a mechanical clamp body, a mechanical clamp cover, a housing assembly, and a connector holder. A separate boot kit can be purchased for 2mm applications. Always wear eye protection when handling optical fibers. Dispose of any cut or cleaved ends properly. Do not touch the cleaver wheel with bare hands. Clamp the 3mm cord clamp approximately 16 inches from the end of the 3mm cord jacket. This will prevent the fibers from pistoning. Insert the cordage through the cord tube and boot. Place the cordage into the ribbonizing tool. Make two marks on the jacket where the slit jacket and cut jacket arrows are pointing. Remove the cable from the ribbonizing tool after marking the jacket. Align the blade of the cord splitter tool with the slit jacket mark. Split the cable from the slit jacket mark to the end of the jacket using the cord splitter tool. Peel the jacket open to the slit jacket mark to expose the 250 micron fibers and aramid yarn. Secure the cordage to the ribbonizing tool with the slit jacket mark at the first set of arrows. Set aside the aramid yarn on the side of the tool. Insert the fibers through the slit in the order indicated on the cover. Push the cord forward until the slit jacket mark is at the second set of arrows. Clean the fibers with a lint-free cloth and fiber preparation fluid. Place a pea-sized drop of ribbonizing glue onto your index finger or a lint-free wipe. Apply glue to the fibers with a forward motion. Pull straight so that the fibers remain in order. After allowing the glue to dry for at least one minute, open the cover and remove the ribbonized fibers from the ribbonizing tool. Cut the jacket at the cut jacket mark. Do not cut the aramid yarn. Carefully insert the spring unit onto the fiber. Using the template on the packaging, mark the ribbon at 35 millimeters. Set the ribbon onto the fiber holder with the aqua-colored fiber closest to the hinge. Place the fiber holder into the hot jacket stripper with no gap between the two. Close the lid, and when the light turns green, strip the fiber. Clean the strip fiber with a lint-free wipe and fiber preparation fluid. Make sure the fibers are dry and separated. Flick the fibers to ensure their integrity. Place the fiber holder into the cleaver. The fiber holder should be flush and flat in the cleaver. Cleave the fiber. Load the fiber holder onto the left side of the splicer. Load the connector holder onto the right side of the splicer and close the cover. Splice on the FuseConnect MPO. Peel the protection film from the mechanical clamp body. The body has raised teeth on the edges. Set the mechanical clamp body onto the assembly tool and make sure there is no gap. Open the fiber holder clamp, but do not remove the ferrule assembly from the connector holder. Keeping tension on the splice, remove the fiber and connector holder from the splicer. Set them onto the assembly tool and close the hinge while keeping tension on the fiber. Peel the protection film from the mechanical clamp cover. The cover has a white tip on the end. Set the non-white end of the cover straight into the hinge segment of the assembly tool. Close the mechanical clamp cover. Use the mechanical sleeve press to distribute even weight on the clamp. Release the assembly tool hinge and open the cover of the connector holder. Remove the connector from the assembly tool by pushing the arrow tabs apart. Slide the spring unit up to the ferrule unit. Align the white dot on the mechanical clamp and the white dot on the housing assembly. When the ferrule is protruding from the connector housing, push the connector housing onto the spring unit until a click is heard. Divide the aramid yarn on both sides of the spring unit. Screw the boot three quarters of the way onto the spring unit. Trim the excess aramid yarn using Kevlar scissors. Screw the boot unit on completely. Remove the cable clamp. 
and place the dust cap back onto the connector. The installation is now complete.